He knows bliss in the Atman and wants nothing else. Cravings torment the heart. He renounces cravings. I call him illumined. Not shaken by adversity, not hankering after happiness. Free from fear, free from anger, free from the things of desire. I call him a seer and illumined. The bonds of his flesh are broken. He is lucky and does not rejoice. He is unlucky and does not weep. I call him illumined. The tortoise can draw in his legs. The seer can draw in his senses. I call him illumined. The abstinent run away from what they desire but carry the desires with them. When a man enters reality, he leaves his desires behind him. Even a mind that knows the path can be dragged from the path. The senses are so unruly. He controls the senses and recollects the mind and fixes it on me. I call him Illumin. Thinking about sense objects will attach you to sense objects, grow attached, you become addicted toward your addiction, it turns to anger. Become angry, you confuse your mind. Confuse your mind, you forget the lesson of experience. Forget experience, you lose discrimination. Lose discrimination, you miss life's only purpose. When he has no lust, no hatred, a man walks safely among the things of lust and hatred. To obey the Atman is his peaceful joy. Sorrow melts into that clear peace. His quiet mind is soon established in peace. The uncontrolled mind does not guess that the Atman is present. How can it meditate? Without meditation, where is peace? Without peace, where is happiness? The wind turns the ship from its course upon the waters. The wandering winds of the senses cast man's mind adrift and turns his better judgment from its course. When a man can still the senses, I call him illumined. The recollecting mind is awake in the knowledge of the Atman, which is dark night to the ignorant. The ignorant are awake in their sense life, which they think is daylight. To the seer, it is darkness. Water flows continuously into the ocean, but the ocean is never disturbed. Desire flows into the mind of the seer, but he is never disturbed. The seer knows peace. The man who stirs up his own lust can never know peace. He knows peace, who has forgotten desire. He lives without cravings, free from ego, free from pride. This is the state of enlightenment in Brahman from which a man does not fall back into delusion. Even at the moment of death, he is alive in that enlightenment. Brahman and he are one. Hariyam Tatsat, Pachilamsa.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 